Hello Ben, um, Stu. Um, just a quick sort of run through on some of the stuff at Cultural. Rads just hung up. Um, if you take them off when you come to paint, put them in the boxes. The boxes will be near the rads. Just make sure you keep little plastic clips that are on the hooks. I'll hang them back up. Um, the, there's a couple of bits of beading that I haven't done from the skirtings yet. I'll get round to it during the week. Um, likewise in here. Is this the dining room? Sorry. I think this room's done, apart from, yeah, that bit of bead. Okay. In here. We're good, apart from that bit of bead. This is the office. In a lot of the, the rooms, I've done two coats of filler in where the door, uh, I don't know what you call it, this bit used to be, latch, whatever. Um, they need a bit of a rub down, so if the doors don't close quite right, so be it. Before you decorate this room, because we had it re-plastered in here, it's nearly dry, give it another day or two, we'll put the, part, um, the tiles in so you can decorate around the tiles. So we'll do that during the week along with the beading. Um, go upstairs, I'll talk about this bit in a minute. Just because that's a little bit here and there, you can feel it, that's all. Um, but apart from that, in here, yeah, good to go. We're going to change some furniture, but that'll be done by the time you get it. Um, in this room, yeah, we're going to have this decorated now, good to go. I got over a bit um, overzealous, fitting the radiator and came all the way through the wall, so that'll need a little bit of fine surface filler. The skirt board down there, it's a bit ropey, still got some wood filler needs to sort them out, but apart from that, good to go. The light switch don't actually work at the moment, but if I forget, they possibly are live, but I don't think they are, because the light don't work. Uh, again, good to go. Um, I think you're painting the ceiling in there. No? No. You sure? No, I asked him. He oh, said, okay. yeah. Um, and all sides of the doors, obviously. Yeah. Inside and out, because there's no point in not. Um, in here, don't really know what we're going to do here. We managed to construct a really good platform for the plasterer and perhaps when you're ready I'll come over and we'll construct it again. Um, but did the carpenters want this room done for next weekend if possible? In an ideal world he said if you could get this done all we've got to do me and Michelle, they stick ceiling rows up, and after we've done that, this room can be decorated, apart from this bit. And the reason that he said that would be handy is because then, obviously, all of the, the suspended floor that we're going to put in can be taken out, and then he can reinstate this bit, because he's not going to put this bit in until your temporary floor goes in. Okay? okay. Until the temporary floor comes out, sorry. Um, and down here, this is the problem area. Because we don't really know yet what's going on here until that's finished, you can't really finish here because there's edges and stuff like that that are all going to be a and little along. bit here and there. Yeah, so this might end up getting covered. This is definitely getting covered. Um, and that's the lips, yeah? How are you gonna finish the lips? So, I don't know how you wanna do that. If there's any chance you can just decorate down halfway. But on the walls? Yeah, the, the walls and the ceiling. Yeah. So we can get to but the point of... Leave the staircase, basically. Yeah, I don't know, we'll have to have a chat about that. But there's plenty to be getting on with. Michelle can go through the colors. 
Right, Ben. Yeah, sorry, just colour so that um, I can keep... Oh, and last bit. <laughs> Massive Sorry. great chunk out down there from when the, the uh, door swelled up from the last plaster, as if you can just have a look at that. Yep, that was okay. it. Okay, right, I'll go through all the colours with you, Ben. So, in the living room, we're going to go for one single colour, and I've written on the walls in each room and each wall basically what, what they're going to be. And I've left you the samples and one of the pots that we, we've already got down here in the hallway, so you've got the exact colours that I used. So, uh, living room is going to be one colour, which is classic duck egg, uh, everywhere in here, please. Um, back windowsill, when you come to paint the windows, if that could be white. Um, everything else, just as you were going to do, the windows and what have you. The hallway, um, there's more than one wall now that we want the wallpaper to go on, and I'll have to bring that over to you. So basically, everything above the dado, which goes around here, is wallpaper. And it ends there. And he said below the dado, dado rail, I can't even speak, dado rail, uh, is a pencil point, a darker grey. So I've written that on all of them. We'd like the inside of the front door here, pencil grey, but all of the woodwork either side, of, well, just to the right of it, it is, uh, in white. And the frame, yeah. And the frame in white, just the actual door in pencil point to just match the Just the bottom. inside, leave the outside. Yeah, as leave is. the outside. Right. Dining room, I've written on the wall here, but we've got basically two colours in here. We're going to go lime white and old white, which are both fire and ball colours. Old white, I've written on the walls where I want them. Just two walls, that wall and that wall, everything else says lime white. All of the skirt and all of the doors, all of the woodwork, everywhere apart from the front door is white. Satin. White satin, yeah. Um, the little downstairs toilet, when we get right to doing the tiling over there, we'd like that all white in my office. Um, the wall with the, the light switch on, that's what this is. Wall with the light switch and the radiator, pencil point, everything else can be white. Um, basically, downstairs hallway, anything from the end of the dado rail on the wall upstairs all the way up the landing and everything is all cloudburst, including the inside of this door um, on the staircase, but we want the white around the architrave for it, but the inside to be cloudburst to match. So everything in the hallway is cloudburst. This is the third bedroom, which is on the right, written on again. So most of it is white, um, but there's two walls that we want pencil point, so I've marked that on here. And the wall with the window, that is pencil point. Everything else white. Inside this cupboard, could this be white as well, please? Um, the main bedroom. I want the far wall, which is over here. Um, I want that to be cloud burst, which is the same as the hallway. And the rest of it, uh, we've got a big pot downstairs in the hallway of crown matte soft gray what in-laws gave us. So every other wall in here, if that could be soft grey, that'd be uh, great, thank you. Remember one thing. Oh, sorry, yeah. excuse button in. The hinges, because the doors were hung, yeah, using the existing cutouts, the hinges need a bit of therapy. The middle ones should be okay, but it's the top and bottom ones. Yeah, on most Some of the Some of them are worse than others, yeah. Like, for, you know, you've got a perfect one there. But because that's the existing cutout, if you could bung a bit of filler in there and make yep. it a bit prettier. Perfect, right. Uh, the middle room, we hadn't, we were, we were on and on about this one. We've decided, could you just decorate it for us, please? Um, we'll try and clear up some of the mess for tomorrow for you. Um, so what I thought in here, if you could put whatever's left of the soft grey from our main bedroom on as many walls as possible and the rest just do white, that would be fantastic. So we've got that tin of soft grey already. Use it wherever you can. Rest white. Or if there's any other alternatives of mixing it up, you know, not um, sort of an accent wall because we've got some left over or something like that. Yeah, give us a shout basically on that one. Um, I think that's it colour-wise. Um, if you need anything during the week, give us a shout. Basically, we're going to try and stick to only coming over to the house in the evening so that um, there's no the word we're using social contact as little as possible um and we can just let let you get on with it um yeah i'll speak to you soon cheers